Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Let's look at the case scenario. A 29 year old male presented to the emergency with a history of trauma to the right eye with a particle while hammering a chisel over stone 4 days back. On examination, vision in the right eye was 6 by 9. Anterior segment showed a self-sealed corneal wound and a foreign body over the iris. The fundus examination was within normal limits. Ultrasound biomicroscopy showed that the foreign body was embedded in the superficial stroma. On detailed slit lamp examination, we could appreciate that the chamber was well formed. There was a self-sealed corneal wound and there was some fibrinous reaction over the foreign body. Now let's look at the surgical planning. We have to remove the foreign body without damaging the normal iris tissue and the clear lens. The first approach which comes to our mind is the use of intraocular magnets. But in this case, the nature of the foreign body is not known and significant duration has passed after the trauma. So this approach is not the ideal one. Let's look at the other approaches. We can either use an intravitreal forceps and remove the foreign body or we can give a limbal incision with the iris tissue abscission along with the foreign body. Let's look at the surgical video. A AC maintainer is placed without touching the clear intraocular lens. Intraocular pilocarpine is put to prevent damage to the lens during foreign body manipulation. A conjunctival peritomy is done for future limbal incision. A clear corneal incision is made for the entry of intravitreal forceps. As soon as the adherent nature of foreign body is known, this approach is aborted. A limbal incision is made with the green blade. Irish tissue prolapse is attempted with the repositor. After the failed attempt, the iris tissue is prolapsed with the foreign body with the forceps. The foreign body and the adhered iris tissue is abscised. Iris tissue reposition is attempted. After realizing that the intraocular pressure is high, flow through the AC maintainer is reduced. As we can appreciate, now the iris can be reposited very effortlessly. The AC maintainer is removed. A air bubble is injected in the anterior chamber and the limbal incision is sutured. The case is done. We can see the 10 0 nylon suture at the limbal incision. The chamber is well formed and there is minimal anterior chamber reaction. The patient went home with a preserved vision of 6x9. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. If you like the video, you can comment, share, and subscribe. And you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.